Hey, it's Matt from Trisman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through Google Ads billing. I'm going to walk through the different payment methods, uh, essentially how the billing inside Google Ads works, and where to find it and change it inside your Google Ads account if you choose to do so. So first off, what is Google Ads billing? And essentially, Google Ads has multiple ways of paying for Google Ads inside of its system. And through its billing system, you're able to easily pay. Uh, there's automatic methods or manual methods. So essentially, you can either set it up for a threshold uh, where Google deems a certain amount of money so say maybe it's five hundred dollars a month and then once you go over that it will bill you one time or you can make manual payments on a monthly basis uh, i generally recommend the automatic method it's generally easier you don't have to keep going back in and out but the manual method is there if you choose to do so it should be noted however manual payments isn't available everywhere and uh here's a whole list of places it's not available so if it doesn't appear in your actual settings uh this is why there's a lot of countries it doesn't allow for so keep that in mind but some countries it does allow for manual billing uh, but just keep that in mind I'll link this down below as well so you can go through all of the different countries if you're interested in manual billing that being said what are the actual payment settings and ways Google can actually bill your account and you can pay for Google Ads and Google gives us a nice little program here if we scroll down to the bottom you see your payment options I'll link this again in the actual description of this video and we can just go on click our Google Ads this is the product we're going to be using the country we're going to be billing in so right now we're in Canada uh, so we'll click Canada and the currency is the Canadian dollar so we'll do that and it will show us the three available methods credit card debit card or monthly invoicing monthly invoicing is only available to certain companies once they hit certain thresholds so essentially you have to have an active account uh, for at least a year and be in good standing spending a minimum of five thousand dollars for any three of the last 12 months and be registered as a business for a minimum of one year inside Google Ads so that is not normally what most people do for Google Ads so you normally use a actual credit card inside Google Ads. And as we can see back in our actual program here for the payments and methods terms service finder, uh, the credit and debit option are available in Canada. And in most countries, Google will let you pay with a credit or debit card. So how do we go about actually changing our billing methods inside Google Ads? And what we have to do is come to our account and we're going to hit on the tools and set settings buttons. It's kind of under my face here, uh, but it's not too difficult to see. What we're going to do is come down here to settings under billing. We're going to click on that and then a whole bunch of information comes up with regards to payment ID uh, the accounts nickname how you actually pay so as you can see here it's automatic payments and as you can see here we'll be charged automatically on the first of each month or if our balance reaches $500 payment threshold before then uh, we'll be charged immediately so that's the threshold thing I was talking about once we accrue $500 expenses in the account Google will essentially charge our credit card and that's how the payment will go through so the next thing is the actual payment methods which is the very important part here uh, how do we go about adding payments? How do we go about changing them? So right here we can see our actual main payment method, which is our credit card. Uh, we have the option to remove it. We have the option to edit it. So if we wanted to update it, maybe it expired. We need to update those uh, numbers. We can easily edit it or remove it. Now, we also have the option of adding a backup payment method, which is wonderful. I recommend to most companies to have a backup payment method just in case the first one fails. It's always nice to have a backup for whatever reason. Maybe the first card expires, whatever reason. Uh, having a backup payment method ensures your Google Ads account is not going to have any downtime. Google will default and just go with the backup payment and essentially charge that card if the first card fails. You can also add other payment methods here. So we have the option to add a debit card or credit card and just insert our details here and then hit save. Once we've set our cards up with our backup card or a primary card, and maybe we've you know added another debit card, whatever we do, uh, if you want to check over the monthly invoicing, you can. They also produce invoices as well in the documents. Just have a look through all of that. It essentially just summarizes all of the expenses inside your account. Once you're done with that, we can just hit back to Google Ads and we're good to go. So now that you've successfully set up your credit or debit card or maybe even monthly invoicing, I don't know, uh, your account would be then good to be billed and you'll be able to run ads. So if you have any comments, questions or concerns about it, leave it down in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.